guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how we create and weave our own reality. So, um, you know, whether we're aware of it or not, we are all powerfully creative through the kind of medium of our thoughts and our feelings. And, um, you know, science is very aware of the fact that, um, you know, we do have this vibrational flow of energy that flows throughout our bodies. Every, everyone has this, every living creature has this vibrational energy, whether, and again, whether, whether they are aware of it or not. But as I said, science, you know, is very aware of this, has, has done many, many experiments, and they now know that um, the, this energy comes out through our thoughts and our feelings. Um, you know, our thoughts being powerful, but our, our feelings being kind of hundreds of times more so powerful, you know. And um, when we look at our language and, and when we listen to the words that we use, we, we do, if you think about it, we start, we do use a lot of phrases like, you know, don't start creating a first, you know, don't cause chaos, don't make a scene, don't create a drama. So, you know, all of these phrases mean to me that we know somewhere deep down that we do have this tendency to create to create our own reality you know and again whether we're aware of it or not we we are doing this through our thoughts and our feelings because they have this energy so you know at this kind of maybe subconscious level for a lot of us or at some level you know we know that our thoughts and our feelings create a ripple effect through our reality very much like the spider's web this is why i've got the photo of the spider's web up, up on my blog post and up, up on this um you know upon the mini training about this topic because i love this idea of you know when the spider moves on the web the whole web ripples and moves doesn't it and this is very much how our thoughts and our feelings work and, and, and kind of impacts and infiltrate out into our reality and in fact shape and create it. And and this idea, this analogy of the webs, you know, the spider and the webs is is kind of you know weaves throughout our language. So we, we must be at some level aware of this. You know, if we, we talk about the webs that the, we weave being tangled in a web of lies, spinning a yarn, webbing, and even the world wide web, you know, when we think about it, is lots of people's ideas that are all put together to impact on other people, you know, put out there to impact on other people's consciousness, right? So, um, you know, th th this means to me that our la even our very language, the words that we use, indicate and confirm that our thoughts and our feelings create and shape our reality, you know, and that we are creating our own reality through them, and that also those very thoughts and feelings are rippling through our reality and um, impacting on others as well. So we are the very weavers of our own reality, right? And for me, this is, you know, this is a really empowering thought. You know, I think it's quite a big and quite a scary thought, but at the same time, it is empowering. Because if we create our reality through our thoughts and our feelings, and obviously for a lot of us, we have very negative thoughts and feelings, and don't get me wrong, we all have negative thoughts and feelings. We absolutely do, some more than others. This also means that if we can, re, you know, if we can create that reality through that negativity, it means we can also shift and change our reality if we change the focus of our thoughts and feelings, right? But it also means, and you know, I was kind of thinking to myself, it also actually means that we can't afford to be. Um, sort of thinking negatively about others because we know that our thoughts and our feelings will have an energy that will impact on others as well. So we don't really have that luxury of blaming others anymore for our difficult circumstances and situations because we now know that we create those through our thoughts and our feelings. The majority of what happens to us is is kind of created through our thoughts and our feelings or prolonged and, and you know, amplified. So, you know, it is very much about being aware of how we're thinking and feeling because, 
you know, if we have a lot of negativity, then um, this will in fact impact on our bodies and will cause blockages in that kind of natural vibrational flow of energy. So this is how things like acupuncture work, you know, they unblock those, those blockages within the body because it, it gets blocked um, kind of in different places and we will eventually feel blocked and we will we will eventually feel like we're stagnating because of all this negativity that we're caught up in and it will eventually impact on our natural flow of manifestation so our ability to um, kind of create um, positive things for ourselves uh, because if, if, we're, if we're creating positive manifestation that means when we're in the flow and we have ideas and we bring them into our reality um, you know th this will, will, will stop as well or will block this natural flow of positive manifestation that we're all trying to bring through for ourselves again whether we're conscious of it or not um, it also means that the energy our, our vibrational flow of energy that we all have within us which resonates at a certain frequency some higher um, than others some have a lower frequency but if we have a lot of negativity, it lowers our frequency. So we become a lot denser. Our thoughts and our feelings become denser. And this simply attracts more of the same. So you'll probably find that you're, you're having far more negative feelings and thoughts. You're attracting far more negative circumstances to you. And you're attracting more you know, more of the people that have that negativity and that dense density around them. You know, and when we find ourselves in this situation, we we start to control our situations and our circumstances a lot more, and even try and control other people through this negativity and through this fear. Because basically, as far as I see it, we have either love or fear. So when we're more negative, we we it means we're, we're at the base of this these feelings. We have a lot of fear and fear becomes anger or negativity or resentment or whatever but the base of it is basically fear so you know we build up we start to build up self-defense mechanisms and then we have what's called illusion that builds up so i'll give you an example of this say if you're somebody who you know you don't like your work you do, you know it causes you a lot of stress and anxiety and maybe you don't like your colleagues you don't get on with them or whatever but you do not want to leave your job because it's in a way to in your mind it's easier to stay because you're probably saying to yourself well there aren't a lot of jobs out there you know i'm not going to find the same sort of money um you know and you're basically just scared to take that leap of faith to find something better for you that you know at some level will be so much better for you so you start to make excuses and you build up the illusion don't you and you, you know you have these what we call self-defense mechanisms so you know oh I can't leave because I'm not going to find another job or you know all those sorts of things and there is no judgment on my part because I definitely find myself caught up in these sorts of um, scenarios where I make up illusion and you know it's it feels safer not to be changing my current circumstances rather than taking that leap of faith so you know I, I completely get it you know but it's um for me it's you know it is about being very aware of how I'm thinking and feeling so I don't get to that point or try not to get to that point of you know that that cycle of negativity where illusion sets in and, and then it becomes very difficult doesn't it to break out of it and it also means to me that our ego is completely taking control of that it's completely in the driving seat when we get to that point, you know, and it, and it drives us through fear, basically, which we really don't want if we want to start creating really cool stuff and manifesting cool stuff in our lives. So basically, we need to, you know, how do we get ourselves out of it? That is the question. How do we, when we find ourselves in these more negative um, thought patterns and we now know that our thoughts and our feelings are creating our reality, how do we break that cycle? Well, there's several things that you can do. If you check out my free resources on my website, um, there's a whole mini training around um, three steps to reduce anxiety, which will help you with these negative thoughts and feelings. Um, I also have my um, heart expansion visualization, which really goes and complements this mini training. 
So this is where, um, you know, you can do this every day. If possible, I, I suggest you try and work up to every day. Do it first thing in the morning, last thing at night, um, because it's really going to help you expand your heart and bring through that really higher vibrational feeling of love. And when we're in this space, you know, if you think about it, negativity and those lower vibrational feelings just simply can't exist. So if you start your day in this lovely, loving space, you know, it's really going to set you up for the day. So I definitely recommend that you download it, stick it on your phone or whatever device you listen to and try and work up to once a day, either morning or night. Great to start it first thing in the morning if you can. Um, and you know work with that I also have my 10 day masterclass which goes a lot further into how to harness your thoughts and feelings reduce your negativity so if you're interested in that there's a link to that as well and there's um, you know on the courses part of my um, website then on the navigational bar you can find um, that um, you know more information about that 10 day masterclass Okay then, so don't forget to download your heart expansion um, visualization and enjoy.